there are pros and cons to shopping online and I'm fully aware of that so when I meet somebody who says that they hate buying anything off of line and they would rather go into the store totally get it but what I don't get is when you get mad that you don't have a very unique style yet you're afraid to shop online what were you expecting honey it's called fast fashion for a reason <laughs> Hi, I'm Tassie, and this is my Chesapeake Bay candle. <laughs> and welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome home, honey. It's about time. And if you're a returning subscriber, make yourself at home. So not that it even has anything to do with the video, but today I decided not to wear makeup because I'm really happy with how my skin is looking today, especially considering the fact that I'm close to my monthly. So this isn't going to last for long. So excuse me, I just wanted to <laughs> be happy for just those few minutes until my life took a turn. You know, you understand. And I'm really sorry if that candle is like super duper distracted through the whole video. It's just, I'm having a really relaxing day and I kind of need it right now. So, sorry, just bear with me, okay? <laughs> but anywho, today's topic of discussion. We are going to talk about online shopping. Now, there's a lot of people where they don't really trust online shopping because, you know, there's certain little risk that you got to take when you go on these sites and trust them with your money and trust them with your information and I totally get it I totally understand and then certain people just don't know like who's legitimate who's not who's worth really checking out and who's just a big scam totally understand but once again I'm here for a reason so today I'm going to be giving you guys a list of all of my top favorite websites that I buy stuff from. I'll specify what all I buy from them, how good of a service they have as far as customer service, just the whole ins and outs so that we don't have to worry about things like that. But I do want to say right off the bat before we even get into it, I stayed away from sites where they have physical actual stores that are like common in certain areas because I just feel like of course I can go tell you to go to Forever 21 and then boom you find an outfit so it's pretty much the same way whether you go in store or whether you go online so this video is specifically about those stores that are only online they have no other store they have no physical place to go it's literally just you know their URL and that's it. The first site that I usually shop at is Rom Wee. So I really like Rom Wee because it's one of those few sites where you don't have to choose between quality or price. You can just get both. They always have like really good deals going on. It's fairly simple. Like right here, here's a three for 20 and we're gonna check that out really quick. Now in this 3 for 20 deal, I wasn't really seeing too much that I would have personally bought with my own money. And that's only because like a lot of this was like the minimalist style and I don't, I don't really get into the whole simple look. I'm always extra. But that's the beauty of this site is that they cater to a lot of looks and aesthetics. So I switched over to the dresses because I just assumed that the dresses would give a better example of what I was just talking about. Um, as you can see, like the, even the models, they're wearing the dresses in different ways. They have like t-shirt dresses, cami dresses, strapless dresses, and they're all like dressed completely differently on the models. And that's the beauty of this site. I feel like it's very inclusive and very diverse in the styling. So they really can like attract any audience really. The other great thing about this site is customization. They actually give you the option to shop your style. So here they don't call it style, they call it girls, like what type of girl are you? So they have edgy girl, they have girly girl, and they have chill girl, which I believe is the minimalist style I was talking about earlier. And when you have an account, you also have the option to shop by your measurements. You can actually upload your measurements on your personal account, and that will help you better navigate through the site as far as like what all is in stock for you specifically and what all will best fit you. They even give you the option on if you want your clothes to be a little bit tight fitted, loose fitted, or true to size. 
and this is why it's number one on my list because I feel like they're a little bit more diverse and accepting as far as like literally any and everybody regardless of what size you are or what style you are so I would highly recommend this site so if you watched my last video you probably recognize this simple teddy sweater type of thing um it's actually kind of cropped which I don't know why but I'm cool with it because it served its purpose and it still looked cute and you can layer it so it wasn't that big of a deal to me but um this is one of the things that I got from Ramwe and the tag I don't know if you guys can see it from here but the tag says Sheen and that's because I believe they're a partner with the company Sheen and I feel like they go hand in hand like they pretty much have the same things the same materials so I guess Rom we slash Sheen I approve of them but yeah either way like I've always gotten cute stuff from them I have like a whole bunch of cropped sweatshirts and like actual sweatshirts from them that are very very useful my next personal favorite is misguided another great site with inclusivity i personally have to say as you can see from the home screen they are practically global they're also a site that doesn't make you choose between quality and cost which of course is going to put you at the very top of my list and all of their clothes are up to date trendy and just all around cute Another big bonus is that you get a 40% off student discount if you're enrolled in college. And I have to tell you, it is definitely, definitely worth it because you never know when you're going to need a new outfit, especially if you happen to get what they call the freshman 15. Oh, yeah, you're going to want to go shopping all over again. So this comes in handy. And as I said before, inclusivity, so important. You literally have so many different options as far as sizes. And that is just like a really good thing to have, especially for an online store. You wanna be able to reach as many audiences and cater to as many people as possible. And they have no problem doing so. Now, the reason why this came in second compared to Rom Wee is because Rom Wee is a little bit more style diverse. And I feel like with Misguided, they're a little bit more solidified and what type of styles they try to go towards um i wouldn't say it's necessarily provocative but it's a little bit more i guess instagram flashy instead of being inclusive to different styles like the edgy and the minimalistic styles but other than that i'm perfectly fine with misguided and I didn't discover this until I actually went on the site to do this video, but they have gowns, honey. They have gowns, like they have pretty much everything at this point. So yeah, just a tip. If you need anything, literally anything, Misguided is your place. Now, I personally don't have any items to show you guys from Misguided because I shopped there like probably in like 2013, 2014. It was a long time ago and they either just didn't fit me anymore or it just wasn't in style anymore and I got tired of it. Don't really know the reason, but I don't have anything to show you as far as misguided. But I will say, like, I've used them before. I totally trust them and I, I mess with their products. Like, I like them. And as I was in the process of making this video and I had to go on there and, like, do my little screen capture thing, I am so happy that I'm kind of sort of broke right now because I so desperately wanted some of the playboy collection like that stuff was just so cute oh my gosh like i would have got it right off the bat <sighs> but maybe another time coming in at number three is fashion nova now i'm pretty sure by this point a lot of people know about fashion nova because fashion nova is literally everywhere like she has basically taken over as an online boutique Everyone has worn them from celebrities to Instagram celebrities to YouTubers to everybody. Like, she's always in the limelight. And the thing about Fashion Nova is that she always has a sale going on. But the reason why she comes in at number three is because the sales aren't always that good. Like, this says 30 to 80% off. Nine times out of 10, you're only going to get that 30% off because that's just how they do it. But they do have deals, they do have little hidden gems. 
and I'm basically gonna show you guys what I do. What I do is I usually just go to, it's specifically what I'm looking for, and I just price it from lowest to highest. And usually the lowest selling items are the items that they're about to be like out of stock and they're just trying to hurry up and get them out of stock. And those are usually hidden gems for the most part. Like a lot of people don't really check into it. Now the reason why Fashion Nova comes in at number three is because as far as pricing and as far as availability, it's not the best compared to Misguided and Rom Wee, but I will say that Fashion Nova definitely stays on trend and for me, I never go shopping on Fashion Nova unless I have a promo code. So I usually don't really have a problem with too many of their prices. But other than that, this is the reason why she comes in at number three. So this is a jean romper that I got probably I want to say two years ago was it two years ago it wasn't that long ago though and it's honestly good quality it's not bad it, it fits me pretty well and I have never really had a problem with their site I've heard people have problems I've heard it a lot but I've never personally had problems with their site I always get my stuff on time it actually comes way sooner when I order it too coming in at number four is Amy Club wear now right off the bat you see that they have a sale which is very very important you will find many things discounted on this site which is what i love about them they have shoes they have outfits they have swimsuits it's literally like a one-stop shop and it's super affordable now I usually pretty much buy my heels and stuff from here because they always have like really super cute heels and like really unique looking heels that stay up to date and on trend. I would highly recommend it. Um, these are actually one of the pairs of boots that I actually own and they fit really really well. And as you can see they also come in different colors which is a plus. Now, even though I love this site, the reason why it's so low on my list is simply because as far as inclusivity of sizes, they are not the best. Even if you are a quote unquote normal size, they still don't really have sizes that are normal. It's pretty much like a hit or miss situation. And another reason is because as far as styling, let's just say club wear is in the name for a reason. So if you're the modest type, this is definitely not the site that you would be comfortable being on. Now with me personally, I honestly don't mind. This is low key in my ballpark of things that I would wear, but not everyone is going to be as confident with showing off as much skin. And that's pretty much what they sell on this site is skin. But like I said, I usually get my shoes from here anyways. So if you're looking for shoes, this is your place. I'm gonna try and get it all in the camera. Oh, see, messing up already. These are the shoes that I got from Amy Clubwear for, I believe, Christmas, possibly my birthday. And these are kind of like that sock material, real stretchy. It, it's really cute when you put it on, of course. But I've gotten these. I also had like another um, pair of thigh high boots that are jean material. And in the past, I had got heels and sneakers from them. Like, I mainly go to them for shoes, but they do have really cute clothes, too. These right here are my babies so far as far as my heels. I love these so much. Oh, my God. And anybody who is a friend of mine, they will tell you, like, I... I don't do normal heels. I do not do chunky heels. Like, this isn't necessarily chunky. This is a reasonable size. This isn't bad. But, like me, I always want the heel that is like, where is it? I always want a heel that's like the size of this. For some reason, they just look better. They just look better the thinner the heel is. But this one right here, I fell in love with it regardless. Like this one was just one of those exceptions and I just, I love it so much. So this last one, I feel like, I feel like you guys are gonna yell at me because this is another site where a lot of people they, they don't have the most positive of reviews, but like I said, never really had a problem with it. 
for me. That's just me. That's just me. Coming in at number five is Wish.com. Don't look at me like that. Wish.com actually has a lot of good gems. It's just that you have to know how to shop on Wish.com. The thing about Wish is that, as you can see, they have a large variety of everything that you could possibly think of. And looking at all of these things, you would think, oh my God, that's too good to be true. And nine times out of 10, it's because it is. So I would not sit there and say, fill up your closet with everything from Wish because you will be highly disappointed. But I wouldn't say don't shop on Wish because there are a lot of hidden gems on here and a lot of things that you could get just because it's simple, it's cheap, and it's actually worth how much it cost. Um, as far as me personally, I have only bought crop tops and like two piece sets and that's pretty much it. I've even bought like a few little cosmetic things, but we're only talking about clothes today, so we're just gonna focus on that. I would buy something like this because you wouldn't expect it to be the best material in the first place, and it's just like a limited amount of material anyways, so why not get it? I would probably get about, probably one of each of these colors, but I wouldn't sit here and get something along the lines of overly extravagant, you know, expecting the whole world from Wish.com because that's just never gonna happen. The only reason why Wish is on this list, period, is because I've had a few success stories from them, but I wholeheartedly understand why a lot of people have stayed clear away from Wish. But I will say one of the benefits of Wish is that they do not hesitate to refund you your money and they definitely will send you a product if you didn't get the correct size. So in a way it's worth it, but it just all depends on the person. So I would say don't sleep on Wish, but at the same time I couldn't blame you. So I like to dress myself a certain way and I have yet to wear this outfit, but I've tried it on and everything, so I know that it fits and I know that it's like decent material. It's not the best material, but it's definitely decent material. It can be washed. Everything about it is just like perfectly fine, especially for the price of it. But um, I would have to put this together in an outfit, but this is the top. This is a set that I had ordered off of Wish and I believe this was probably like $5 if anything. And this is the bottoms. These are the shorts. They are definitely like not cotton <laughs> to say the least. They're not cotton. But the, this is like a perfect outfit for the winter time. For the winter time. And it's honestly really, really cute. It's not that bad. Like I said, I like to put my outfits together, so I need like one more piece of my outfit before I can wear this in public. But other than that, 10 out of 10. So those are my top five online boutiques that I frequently shop at. Hopefully this was helpful. And these aren't the only places that I shop at, but these are like the top five because I usually always go to them. Like they're always my go-tos. But if you do feel like there's some other hidden gems or some other sites that I didn't necessarily talk about, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Don't hesitate. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share if you can. Thank you for watching and until next time.